Mary Gillis joining us now. Yeah. Hi, guys. You guys are looking so sharp. Oh, I'm loving it. Oh, these old things? These old things. Oh, don't worry about it, Mary. <laughs> oh, we no. like your black, your race wear. Thank you. Oh, I got a little white here, too. So. Okay, yeah. perfect. Now, these there colors remind us of, of milk. Mm. Milk? Okay. Yes. Now, does your body good? It does your body good. I'm thinking about <laughs> vitamin D. When I think of vitamin D, I think of milk. But you're saying there's okay. some changes happening. Let's get started with this one. You are so right. So move over, milk. Scientists believe the next big source of vitamin D could come from a lab. In a study published Monday, researchers say they have edited tomato genes and think the fruit has the potential to produce vitamin D. The scientists use uh, relatively new technology to edit the fruit genes and found they contained a precursor to the important micronutrient. This could be big news for vegans and vegetarians, giving them a plant-based source since the two best dietary sources for vitamin D are still dairy and fish. Researchers say if farmers and produce, uh, producers adopt the process commercially, tomatoes could be used to help the one billion people around the globe that have vitamin D de deficiency. Hmm. This is big because I'm one of those people who have vitamin D deficiency, like extremely. Okay. Yeah. So this is interesting because I actually love tomatoes. I eat tomatoes like they're apples. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, my gosh. So you, hmm. like, so you like tomatoes? I love tomatoes. It's safe to say she likes tomatoes. <laughs> I love tomatoes, yeah. yes. So, uh, oh, tomatoes. That's a game changer. Guys, tomatoes are fruit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, that doesn't sit well in my soul It still. does not. It does not. Mm -hmm. Okay, next thing. Okay. <laughs> U.S. birth rates appear to be on the rise after a steep drop during the first year of the pandemic. According to new data published Tuesday from the CDC's National Center for Health Statistics, the nation's birth rates were up in 2021. It's the first time in seven years the U.S. birth rate has increased. About 3.7 million babies were born in 2021, about 46,000 more than 2020. Teen birth rates continued to decline while they increased for those 25 and up, particularly in women ages 35 to 39. White and Hispanic women had more babies in 2021 than black, Asian, and American Indian women. Rates for C-sections and preterm births also increased in 2021 and were disproportionately high for black women. Wow. I... I believe this because uh, the amount of money that I spent on baby showers in the last year <laughs> has incredibly people, increased. People were definitely indoors in 2020. Like, oh, so y'all were just, y'all were bored, huh? Yeah. Okay. Total baby boom, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. So uh, let's go with this one. There are a lot of reasons people want to lose weight, but the number one reason Ah, surprisingly, it's their health, not their um, physical appearance. The Mayo Clinic says there may be a new movement in weight loss, more focused on improving things like blood, blood pressure and cholesterol rather than chasing after a, some idealized beach bod. A new survey shows 83% of people looking to lose weight are more motivated by their health than anything else. That's five times more than people who said they were motivated by physical Ooh, appearance. Well, that's big. Because I feel That's, like you more so see people talking about, well, back in the day, you used to always see people talking about they wanted to look a certain way. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you, sh you should. Everybody, look, healthy people come in all different shapes and sizes mm -hmm. and forms. You know, for us bootylicious people, you know, i got to make sure that my butt pressure is right. Right. Mm. I mean, this is really great. Yes, I almost, I almost thought you said butt pressure because I heard bootylicious no, no, and now no. I can't unhear Bootylicious blood pressure. I heard it, but I heard Get something else yeah. at the same okay, time. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you know what, guys? Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, I just want to say an Indy 500. So we're also having uh, moving into Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I don't know what you guys have planned, but um, I just wanted to say, uh, guys out there, I want to thank you guys so much for those uh, who have served and the families who have fallen. Um, we are we are alive. Are they 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 lost their lives so that we could live? Absolutely. And I hope that we remember in our hearts what this uh, weekend and day is uh, is all yeah. about. Absolutely. I just actually emceed the uh, 500 Festival mm -hmm. Memorial yesterday, yep. and it's it's amazing to actually take some time. Remember to do that on Monday. Take some time to thank those who had to make the ultimate sacrifice for us to do what we do. So good exactly. reminder, Mary. Thank you. Thank you yeah. Mary. Oh gosh, you guys. Always a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh,